Now, back to Coastal Living on KZTV. Now, everyone's wedding is unique in its own special way. Some things are planned, some things are not. And fortunately for us here on Coastal Living, us ladies have been able to live through these milestones with one another. But there's a few ladies left on the list that we look forward to, Jocelyn and Kendall. And when I imagine y'all's weddings, I've got like a vision for each of you. This is a little bit how I think I imagine Jocelyn's wedding going down. Let's take a look. <laughs> A Texas bride recently caught her catch of a lifetime. Elliot Wagner Granville recently got married at Chapel on the Dunes in Port Aransas. She and her husband enjoy the sport of fishing as well as vacationing near the beach. What made the ceremony even more special is Elliot's mom was the one who married the both of them. It was really beautiful. Uh, it was perfect. Um, it just went great. After taking scenic wedding portraits on the beach, the celebration was followed by a reception to then kicking back and relaxing. And during that period of relaxation is when they decided to go cast a line while Elliot was still wearing her wedding dress and veil. I just thought it'd be really fun to, you know, continue the, the night in a wedding dress and my veil. Um, you know, I wanted to you know, keep the fun going as long as possible. It was my wedding day, so. <laughs> and she did exactly that when they made their grand appearance at Red Dot Pier right here in Corpus Christi. But there is also deeper meaning as to why Elliot fishes more than ever before. Ever since my dad passed away last August, um, I started fishing a lot more. Um, because I have all of his fishing poles and my dad was, um, he loves fishing, especially at the coast. Elliot says that it is also a way that she feels closer to him. As she was fishing the night of her wedding, the small hit she felt on her line ended up being a 50 pound black drum, the biggest fish she's ever caught. I was reeling him in and I didn't want the line to break because the line was pretty thin. Um, so I was kind of trying to mess with them and tire him out and not reel them in super fast. But the beautiful bride didn't tire the drum out, nor did she give up reeling. It took a while, it took about 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes for me to get him up to the pier. And as we were reeling him in, uh, my husband saw him surface and he said, oh, that's a drum. And he was getting all excited. He put up a good fight, my arms were really sore. As Elliot caught and released the oversized drum, she remained having her husband as her other catch of a lifetime. She says that this won't be the last time that her and her husband will be fishing here in Corpus Christi, using her father's fishing gear. I think we'll definitely be back soon and be fishing again. <laughs> and just like that, after Elliot's story, we might just see more angler brides in their dresses, reeling in fish in our coastal bend. But it all starts with being hooked up for life. What a great story. I love I it. Know, and right? there's a lot of um, different ideas about what to do with your wedding dress after. Some people like ruin the dress. Some people go out in the water and mm -hmm. do fun things. Would you go fishing on your wedding Absolutely. day? Absolutely. And I was just going to say, this is probably one of my favorite fishing tales. Uh -huh. And uh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I get it. it. I get it. <laughs> no, but she was such a joy to interview. And uh, she said she'll be back. And I hope to see her out on the water. And maybe she can fish with my boyfriend and I sometime. There you go. We'll all head out and wear our wedding dress is or white. Yes.